Hey, what's up guys? Sean here, back with another video. This morning, we are at Knight's Landing, starting out in Jennings State Forest. Potentially, we are going to be heading to uh, Indian Ford. Now, it's a, just a short section on the Pioneer Trail over here. Um, I've been under the weather for the last week or so, so I'm kind of taking it easy today, hopefully anyway. Um, but we're going to be testing out a couple of new packs today. And uh, just going out here on this trail and seeing what we can see. Apparently, it's a really nice trail. And I really want to check out Indian Ford down there and see if maybe we can set up just a little day camp. So, uh, sounds like it's going to be fun. Let's get it. Okay, so today we're testing the loadout in this Romanian military surplus pack. We're also going to be testing out this new um, over-the-shoulder satchel from Rothko. Um, I thought it'd be nice to have this today too, just to uh, carry my camera gear in and uh, kind of help balance that load from, the, from this pack back here. This pack doesn't have any padding on the straps. So I thought it'd be nice to just kind of have this little bag here um, to carry camera gear in. I've got an extra shirt in there. I'll kind of go through this in a little while and show you what we got in the pack. But right now we got to get on the trail. Okay, so as you can see, we are here. We are going to be hiking down to here. So that should be pretty cool. Looks like a nice little area to hike. So it's about 74 degrees already this morning. Humidity is about a thousand percent. There's a good chance for thunderstorms later on this afternoon, but that'll make it interesting. I, uh, I'm already sweating like a pig. One of the things that I've noticed already is that this trail is very rooty. So if you ever come out this way, just keep an eye out for the roots because they blend in pretty well with the pine needles. So far it's a beautiful trail though. I love trails like this, minus the spiders. But I got my stick to knock the webs down if I have to.
So I've had terrain change several times in here. It's actually been a nice change. I've gone through some sandy pines and now I'm kind of into a uh, lower swampy area. Nice and cool down in here. Hadn't been buggy yet, but I can feel it starting to come on. The bugs are starting to get heavy. May have to go ahead and stop here in just a second and put some bug spray on. But it's been beautiful so far. Very prehistoric looking. I just jumped some does on the trail right down here and uh well i'll tell you what they spun and crashed through those trees and started blowing at me and i wasn't ready for it i was just kind of in my own zone and it uh literally about made me jump out of my skin until i realized what was going on <sighs> got my heart racing over a couple of deer <laughs> but I was just in my own zone, just thinking, cruising, and uh, startled them, and then they startled me. Pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and hike on past here. I, I imagine they'll be gone, but I don't know. Fingers crossed, maybe we might get to see one of them. So this is a cool little campsite here about halfway between uh, Knight's Landing and Indian Forge. Um, it's got the little fire ring there and a picnic table. Decent little area to set up here if, if somebody was going to camp. And uh, sounds like I can hear water right over here. So let's drop the pack for a minute and go down here and see if we can find it. See it, but there is a giant garfish swimming right down through there. That's pretty cool. This is a this is a neat little spot right here. A um, little bit buggy, but it's a really cool little spot. I did bring my fishing pole. Uh, wow, there are several huge gar right there. Like I was saying, I did bring my fishing pole, but I don't want to take a chance of uh, having one of those gar uh, break it. I just brought my little tin car rod, and uh, I thought maybe we get the Indian Ford, maybe I'd be able to uh, play with it a little bit there, but I don't want to take a chance right here having one of those gar break my pole. And there is some huge freaking gar in here. It's neat though, got a little uh, set of rapids and stuff up here. So 
nice little place to hang out here but unfortunately this is not where we're staying so uh or not where we're headed to anyway i should say so we need to go uh throw the pack back on and get back on the trail well since we don't have any cell service out here i mean zero with verizon uh i went ahead and stopped at the sign up there and got us a map of this area everything's well marked so you really don't have to have it but you know err on the side of caution so i've never been here before i wasn't really sure so i went ahead and got us a map and i'll show you on here where we're at and uh where we're headed okay so if you can see we started out right here at night's landing and we've made our way around to right here and this is called the bluff camp zone and so we're gonna be putting our pack back on and heading our way back down to right here down here to the uh indian ford so that'll be pretty cool but we got to get our pack on and get going I just jumped some more deer coming through right there but again never have the camera on at the right time well we're getting there I actually hear some people up ahead here so must be some other hikers on the trail haven't seen anybody up to this point yeah I can kind of see them through the through the trees up there got to get on the Indian Ford and get a little something set up before it starts to rain Well guys, looks like we made it to Indian Ford. I'm gonna grab me a drink of water real quick and then I'll take you down here and show you what it looks like. I can hear some people down there. Sounds like maybe they're uh, pulling a boat or a kayak or something. The creek definitely looks shallow, even though the storm clouds look like they're rolling in. and may be coming up a little bit here in just a few minutes. Let's go down here and see what we can find. So this is it guys. Indian Ford. It's a neat little area on the Black Creek here uh, in Jennings State Forest. Beautiful spot. You, as you can see, it's uh, very, fairly shallow here. And uh, I think now that I'm hot and sweaty, I may go ahead and take my shoes and socks off and roll my pants legs and get out here and enjoy some of this cool water for a few minutes. Then we might make some coffee.
Boy, that water is cold and it feels awesome. Kind of got myself overheated a little bit here and that water's helping out. I'm gonna get in and out a few times and try to bring my temperature back down. <clears throat> when I said earlier that I've kind of been under the weather, uh, to be honest with you, I've had a kidney infection for the past week and I fought fevers and chills and just nonstop, I mean, hurting. And I've been feeling better the last couple of days. And uh, so I decided I wanted to get out here and do this this morning. And I may be pushing myself a little too much because I was already sweating like crazy the last few days. And uh, I'm definitely sweating like crazy now, so. I'm going to get in and out of the water a few times here and you're a little dark. I'm going to get in and out of the water a few times here and try to cool myself back down. But I think, even though it's counterintuitive, I'm going to go ahead and set my little stove up and make me a cup of coffee. I need it. I need the pep. I got my rain poncho just in case it does rain. Now, <clears throat> since Brian sent me two of those kits, I brought one today to filter water with if I decide I need to, uh, which I may end up having to do. But I got my little coffee kit here. I'll set up and make a little coffee and uh, see if we can't get calm down and relax a little bit get a little less pep back in my step coffee pot
So I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like I'm kind of cheating on grizzly coffee today. Today I've got some Cafe Bustelo, and this is the Cafe Con Dulce de Leche. And uh, I just kind of wanted something simple to throw in the pack for this hike today. And this has got the cream and sugar and everything in it already. So, and these are actually really good. So we'll open this thing up and get it in the coffee. Swizzle stick. That's good too. Okay, so you guys know that I'm used to using the uh, my little Sawyer squeeze or a little Sawyer mini filter. Well, when Brian gave us those uh, Hydro Blue VersaFlow filters, I had never tried it before. And uh, I've been wanting to for a long time. So I went ahead and opened it up. It came with two of the little plastic uh, water filter bags it came with the uh, the filter itself the uh, this is a little filter attachment here it's got the lock off the line lock right there and then the hose that come with it it's a pretty cool little setup let's uh Set this thing up and go filter some water. One thing I'll say about these is uh, it doesn't fill up very good. It takes it takes a lot, seems like, to get the bag to actually fill up. Yeah, I don't know about these guys. Okay, so this thing, I've got my water in here. And this little water filter just kind of screws onto the top of this. Like so, just like that. And uh, it's very similar to a Sawyer, but this also has, Brian also sent me the, uh, the activated carbon filter. And what that should do is that should eliminate that um, kind of mucky rivery taste. So, We'll throw that bad boy on here too. And see how this water tastes.
Okay, so I think I'm going to just, instead of putting it in this other bag, I'm going to just put it in my uh, stainless steel water bottle. Which is uh, right here. So I'm going to just squeeze it down into this water bottle. And then before I go, I'll filter me some more water. Okay, looks like I'm leaking here. Alright, I think I'm going to rig it up the hang so I don't have to squeeze on it. So as you can see, I've got the uh, the water just hanging and dripping. And uh, it seems to be doing okay right now. I started to squeeze it, and it seemed like it was starting to leak a little bit around the, um, the threads of the carbon filter. And I didn't want to do anything to hurt it, so I decided instead of squeezing it, I'll just hang it up and let it drip. And it uh, seems to be working good right now. I haven't really taken everything out, and uh, like the hose and the the line lock and all that stuff but I didn't really need that right this second and I figured I would just go ahead and set it up like that and uh, get it working it seems like it's doing okay well guys this has been a, a nice little area down here it's a beautiful hike in and uh, it's roughly two and a half miles and I was able to uh, get my water filtered out with that Hydro Blue uh, VersaFlow in my opinion, just from what I've seen, it's a little bit slower than the Sawyer. I could be wrong, it just seems that way to me. Um, and I'm really not a fan of the little plastic bags. I'll have to go back to my regular uh, c knock bag or knock bag, however you say it. Uh, I think the C is silent, so knock bag. Um, so I'll probably go back to that. But uh, as far as the filter, the water itself man it tastes awesome you didn't i didn't taste anything that tasted like river water or anything in there so brian i really appreciate that buddy um that really really seemed to help get that kind of um uh, uh, minerally mucky taste out of the water so this has been a really a really good day trip um two and a half miles like i said on the trail um and then you end up here at this beautiful little spot. But unfortunately, those clouds are really starting to roll in. And uh, I think I better get back on the trail before uh, that storm hits. I'd rather be partway back at least before that storm hits. Like I said, I do have my um, poncho. So if worse comes to worse, I'll throw that on and keep hiking. Not a big deal. Um, but I, do, I would like to get on the trail, especially if it starts thundering and lightning. I'd rather be you know on out of here so that being said if you like this video hit the thumbs up button for me if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and uh i appreciate you guys watching this video see you next time well looks like we waited too long hiking in the rain that's life though